going again. Yeah, the, the final boss is nasty. The, the, there's... There's no way else to put it. It's just a nasty fight. There's two regular guys there, a giant, the end guy, and three different skeletons spawn, and you got to put up with all of it at the same time. There's no easy way to do it. You just got to get good. Let me see what you were saying. Oh, yeah, it totally does. As far as Raku news, all Yoshis have shoes. It's the only clothing they wear unless the saddle counts. Uh, Raku, I think there's a Mario cartoon, Super Mario World cartoon, I kind of remember. I want to go back and see if Yoshi is wearing shoes in that one. Because I remember that growing up as a kid. Go check that out on YouTube, Super Mario World cartoon intro. Yoshi is in it. It was kind of a weird cartoon, but I liked it. It had a catchy theme song at the entrance, too. Yeah, Raku, that's exactly what they were going for here. I watched other kids play this in the arcade all the time, and they didn't... And honestly, they played very recklessly and would not even get to the end. Even with a bunch of quarters, because if you, if you try and fight stuff just the regular way, enemies will kill you just very quickly in this game. So th there's a lot of just knowledge of knowing what's dangerous, getting the dragons and keeping them and stuff like that that, can, that makes this game a lot easier. But if you go through without getting on the animals or anything, it, it's going to be a lot harder. Why is this guy not taking any hits? There we go. All right, go ahead and use our magic here. I'll just call that a warm-up run. <laughs> That's what that'll have to be. That'll just have to be a warm-up run. Of course, there's really not much to get warmed up on. It's either get good on that last fight or pretty much you're done. Maybe I could have avoided one of those skeleton combos up to that point. That would have given me practically another life. <sighs> that's a, not a good opening run here, but that's all right. Just knock this guy off the ledge. There he goes. Enemies have a dash attack that they'll use at a certain range, and it's a one-hit knockdown with some cheap damage. I, that's really a good thing to try and avoid. Okay. Hit boxes in this game are not the easiest. There was one for Super Mario 3 and Super Mario World, wasn't there? No idea the difference besides the Super Mario show having Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi actually eats a fireball in the entrance to the Mario World one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And there was an original one too, Super Mario Super Show. So they incorporated all the Mario cartoons at one point or another. And these are some glitchy sound effects in this ROM. That's all right though. Only seems to work affect certain enemies as well, not all of them. Alright, I know what would be really hard. I just got an idea of what would be extremely hard to pull off here. A no dragon 1cc run. That would be hard. Really hard. Alright, let's get that. I didn't even use any magic. You, sometimes you just don't need to. Alright. At least we'll be back to the end fairly quickly. I want to go back and watch those shows again now, Raku. I'm getting nostalgic for them. <laughs> hmm. 
Come on. Come on. The hitboxes in this just absolutely suck sometimes. Alright. That could have been a lot worse. Alright, Dragon's gonna pull a Yoshi once again. Could have used magic there if I really wanted to. I may do that next time. Alright, let's get these big guys going. A uh, no dragon run would be absurd. <laughs> I don't think I want to try that. I had to fight all these guys toe to toe. That that's that would not be fun. Come on, hit boxes! Don't screw me! Don't screw me! The good thing is these knights can't run. They don't have a dash attack. <laughs> this I don't know what was going on with the Super Mario Super Show, Raku. I have no clue. <laughs> when I first watched it, I was like, what? What in the world is this? It was... They had the like the live segments with Mario and Luigi and the Mario was played by that Captain Lou guy that was a wrestler. And they had this like stupid dancing sequence at the end of the show and all this ridiculous stuff that honestly didn't need to be a part of it, but looking back it's kind of funny. I, I don't know what they were going for. It was kind of embarrassing to watch even as a kid. I watched it though. I watched it. It came on before I like on Saturday morning or something. All right, I'm trying to get this other guy stuck so I can have a one-on-one -on -one with the other one. There we go. And there was a Zelda cartoon that came on that's really infamous with Link always saying, "Excuse me, princess." That's really infamous even today. That's basically a meme. All right, we got to be careful with these skeletons. They do not mess around. <laughs> they do not mess around. They've got more range, speed, attack, everything, health than every other enemy in the game, basically. Except for the bosses, but, some, but most of the bosses are easier than these guys. All right, got to be careful here. Don't need any magic. Get get lost. If I don't succeed in this one today, on this run, we're going to move on to another game. But we'll come back and do it again another time. Because I think this is totally doable if I can just put together a decent last boss battle. It's possible to even keep the dragon into that fight, but the enemies swarm you so quickly it's hard to hold on. Move on to Celeste. Eh, well, we're going to do that eventually. I got it on my list. Definitely want to play that, because that's kind of like in the mold of Super Meat Boy. I really enjoyed Super Meat Boy. Perfect time to use magic now. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You have, like, no health in this game. <laughs> Could have been better, but I'm not going to complain. <sighs> At least I didn't die, and we're going to get a hit point back right here. Alright, here we are at the end again. Level sucks.
Skeletons have more health on the last level too. That's another problem. And the ones that accompany the last guy have even more health than that. So there's enormous danger. Use my invincibility iframe right there to do a little extra damage. Right when you get up, they can't hit you again. Link was always such a twat in that show, too. Zelda clearly isn't interested in him, but every episode he keeps trying to bargain for a kiss. You've seen it, Raku. You've seen it. <laughs> it's such a corny show. And people always joke about that one. Now, this is why Link never talks, thanks to this show. And I'm kind of on board with that. <laughs> Link is like the ultimate douchebag in that show. It's still funny to see, though. But as a kid, it kind of gave me a, a tainted picture of Link. I was like, is this the way he's really, he really is? All right, if I don't keep this dragon, it's over. All right. Sound effects have just totally glitched out at this point. Now there's like no sound at all. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to try and find another ROM for this game. I can legally do that, I do own this game. They say save the Royal Water Park. The stories in that were also awkward. That was the most awkward video game based cartoon maybe in history. All right, let's see if we can do a better job here. All right, better start. Son of a bitch. Shit! Not gonna improve my situation a lot because it's just gonna spawn more skeletons. We got him now. Man, that was almost a one de that was almost deathless. That was almost deathless. If I'd kept the dragon for a little bit longer, that would have been a deathless run, guys. Oh my god, we can do that. I'm I'm willing to try this again sometime, try and do deathless. Alright. Alright, so that's one CC, but <laughs> this close to deathless. Mmm, this close. That kinda hurts. <laughs> All right, so you got to keep the damn dragon. That's obvious. That made all the difference in the world on that attempt right there. So in the Sega Genesis version, there's one more level with uh, more enemies and a much more powerful final boss. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> What were they thinking coming up with this idea? We got an arcade machine with the, all the monsters jumping out of it, chasing a bunch of kids out of the arcade. That that that's the ending to this game. <laughs> Why they came up with this, I'll have no idea. This is not even how the Sega Genesis version ended. I totally forgot about this. Completely pointless. <laughs> I don't know. But we did it. 
and we almost did a one seat one almost did a deathless run so I'm happy about that presented to for you by Sega see you next game all right yep next game we're doing a deathless but not right now we'll do that another time almost a deathless run that should be a yeah that'll be a plus 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 yeah <laughs> yeah, oh, wasn't the 